How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are reacting to Why Blue Whales Don't Get Cancer, Pito's Paradox by In A Nutshell. Alright, so, uh, I didn't even know that blue whales didn't get cancer in the first place, much less what Pito's Paradox is. I have no idea what any of this stuff is. I might, like, once he starts talking about it, I might kind of light bulb in my head flashes or whatever, but as far as I know, I know nothing about this. Like, I, I didn't know, like I said, I didn't know blue whales didn't get cancer in the first place. I thought that was kind of like cancer cells just attach their grubby little yuckiness onto everything but uh, i'm super clueless <laughs> but yeah super excited to go to in a nutshell again just like like always but i, I really want to get into this so without any further ado and babbling of mine here is why blue whales don't get cancer cancer is a creepy and mysterious thing really the hate the noise trying to understand it to get better at killing it we discovered a biological paradox that remains unsolved to this day Large animals seem to be immune to cancer, which oh, doesn't make any sense. Okay. The bigger a being, the more cancer it should have. Yeah, to I was about to say why, that. We first need to take a look at the nature of So it's of not just itself. whales, it's like bigger species in general? That's what I'm getting at? Going in blind here, guys. are protein robots made out of hundreds of millions of parts. Guided only by chemical reactions, they create and dismantle structures, sustain a metabolism to gain energy, or make almost perfect copies of themselves. Almost perfect. We call these complex chemical reactions pathways. They are yep. biochemical networks upon networks, it's intertwined beautiful. and stacked on top of each other. Most of them can be cool, comprehended by a single human mind, and yet they function perfectly. Until they don't. With billions of trillions of reactions happening in thousands of networks over many years, the uh -oh. question is not if something will go wrong, but when. When? Ha! Ah, Tiny mistakes add up said it right until when the grandiose said it. machinery gets corrupted. To prevent this from getting out of hand, our cells have kill switches that make them commit suicide. But these Fun. kill switches are not infallible. If they fail, a cell can turn into a cancer cell. Most oh. of them are slain by the immune system very quickly. But this is a numbers game. Given enough time, a cell will accrue enough mistakes, slip by unnoticed, and begin making more of itself. Interesting. All animals have to deal with this problem. In general, the cells of different animals are the same size. The cells of a mouse are not smaller than yours. It just has fewer cells in total and a shorter lifespan. That's kind of obvious. Fewer cells and a short life means a lower chance of things going wrong or cells mutating. Or, at least it should mean that. Yeah. Humans live about 50 times longer and have 1,000 times more cells Woo. than mice. Yet the rate of cancer is basically the same in humans and in mice. Even weirder, blue whales with about 3,000 times more cells than humans don't seem to get cancer at all, really. That's this so weird. This is Pito's paradox. The baffling okay. realization that large animals have much, much less cancer than they should. Scientists think there it's really are two interesting. main ways of explaining the paradox, evolution and hypertumors. Hypertumors. Solution one, evolve or become a blob of cancer. Okay. As multicellular beings developed 600 million years ago, animals became bigger and bigger, which added more and more cells and hence more and more chances that cells could be corrupted. So the collective had to invest in Is that a Furby? <laughs> cancer defenses. The ones that did not died out. Poor but Furby. cancer doesn't just happen, it's a process that involves many individual mistakes and mutations in several specific genes within the same cell. Uh -huh. These genes are called proto-oncogenes, and when they mutate, it's bad news. Aww. For example, with the right mutation, a cell will lose its, its ability to kill itself. Zombie. Another mutation, and it will develop the ability to hide. Another, and it will send out calls for resources. Oh my god! <laughs> one, and it will multiply quickly. Oh. These oncogenes have an antagonist, Oncogene. though. Tumor suppressor genes. They prevent these critical mutations from happening, or order the Our cell to kill weird. itself if they decide <laughs> it's beyond repair. That it is turns out so that large weird. animals have an increased number of them. 
Because of this, elephant cells require more mutations than mice cells to develop a tumor. They are not immune, but more resilient. Okay. This adaption probably comes yes. with a cost in some form, but researchers still aren't sure what it is. Thank you for putting Maybe that in MMO aspect. Make elephants age quicker later in life, or slow down how quickly injuries heal. We don't know Whoa. yet. Whoa. <laughs> but the solution to the paradox may actually be something different. Hypertumors. Solution 2. Hypertumors. Yes, really. <laughs> Hypertumors are named after hyperparasites, the parasites of parasites. Hypertumors are the tumors of tumors. Cancer use can be thought of use as cancer a to kill cancer. Okay. Normally, cells work together to form structures like organs, tissue, or elements of the immune yeah. system. Yeah. But like cancer ants. cells are selfish and only work for their own short term benefit. So evil. If they're successful, they form tumors, huge cancer collectives that can be very hard to kill. Very hard. tumor is hard work, though. Millions or billions of cancer cells multiply rapidly, which requires a lot of resources and energy. The amount of nutrients they can steal from the body becomes the limiting factor for growth. Huh. So the tumor cells trick the body to build new blood vessels directly to the tumor to feed the thing killing it. And oh my. Here, the nature of cancer cells may become their own undoing. Cancer cells are inherently unstable, and so they can continue to mutate, some of them faster than their buddies. If they do this for a while, at some point, one of the copies of the copies of the original cancer cell might suddenly think of itself as an individual again and stop cooperating. Which means, just like the body, the original tumor suddenly becomes an enemy, fighting for the same scarce nutrients and resources. Okay. So the newly mutated cells can create a hypertumor. Instead of helping, they cut off the blood supply but to like, their former buddies, which will starve wouldn't and the kill new one the original be cancer cells. Just as bad as the cancer old one once the old one dies? Cancer. This process can repeat over and over, and this may prevent cancer from becoming a problem for a large organism. It is possible okay, so that large animals keeps have more doing of these it. hyper than we realize. They might just not become big enough to notice. Which makes <laughs> aye, sense. Aye, Captain. A 2 gram tumor is 10% of a mouse's body weight, while it's less than 0.002% of a human. Or and mouse. And 0.000002% of a <laughs> zero, 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 zero. All three tumors require the same number of cell divisions and have the same number of cells. So an old blue whale might be filled with tiny cancers and just not care. There okay. are other proposed solutions to Peto's paradox, such as different metabolic rates or different cellular architecture. But right now, we just don't know. Scientists are working on the problem. Figuring out how large animals are so resilient to one of the most deadly diseases we know could open the path to new therapies and treatments. Cancer has always been a challenge. Today, I really like how they, how they to draw the cancer. And by doing so, one day, yes! We might finally overcome it. Yes! Stab this that sword in there. Sponsored by you. If you want to help Me. us make more, you can do so by supporting us on Patreon or getting one of the beautiful things we've made. Like our I'm, space I'm probably going to end up getting something of theirs because I really like their your style, their art style. Or poster bundle or the very comfy Kortskazak hoodie. Or, or the hoodie. I want the, the first hoodie. Time, the second run of our gratitude journal. We put a lot of time and just love their posters our because I want, just like with our videos, I'm gonna poster and a hoodie. Put things into the world that we feel good about. Kurtzgesagt is a project that, by rights, Kurtz, doesn't really work. To God. Videos like the one you just watched Let's take stop. months to finish, and we're only able to put in so much time because of your direct support, because you watch and share, and because you care. Yes. Thank you for watching. You are quite welcome. All right. So that video was. A little more insightful than all the other videos just because I didn't know anything about this like I had a theory like my own little theory and stuff that uh everybody has cancer it just like different things uh activate it and stuff like that so in a way I'm right like or I was right but it goes a little bit more complicated than that it's just cells that this is my understanding of this video. I know, like, I'd have to watch it, like, a couple more times to actually, like, get it soaked into my stupid, thick brain. But, uh, like, so when cells, something goes wrong, and so they try to kill themselves, but something goes wrong there, and then it just gradually turns into cancer cells, which, in return, kills 
tries to kill everything else. It just takes all the other resources from every other cell in your body and just like a zombie, essentially. It's like a zombie. But uh, this is a really insightful video. I, I It, it kind of broadens... Broad, broad, did I even say a word there? It, it, it helps me understand cancer more, is what I'm trying to say. Because uh, not too long ago, a couple months now, it's been a couple... Oh my god been a couple months already but uh i had two family members die of cancer uh back to back and it was really really crazy but uh just videos like this really really helped me understand like what it is like i know a lot of scientists and stuff like he was saying in the video like we don't know like why bigger species are quote unquote immune using that term very loosely uh to cancer but hopefully we'll find out in the future and then we'll help humans out with cancer but very very interesting video i really like that so thank you everybody so much for watching if you like this video feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one so with that said i have been master zero y'all guys have been fantastic and i'll see y'all in the next episode later days <laughs>